Good afternoon, friends. My colleague is sitting on the dais, uh, Dr. Garg. Uh, it looks like the people, uh, the number of people are less in the hall, uh, but nevertheless, we can speak, we can discuss, because uh, discussions and masses sometimes it helps, but discussions with the dignitaries sitting on the dais, that is most important, and then we can find the way forward. So, uh, Dr. Garg, uh, is this uh, this is going to be uh, live on YouTube or somewhere, this program? Yeah, so that more number of people they can see later on. <coughs> so thank you very much. So today uh, the world is moving towards decarbonization, the world is moving towards the best utilization of coal available in the country. And uh, India is uh, blessed with more than 350 billion ton of coal. And uh, we have just 47 years time to use major part of the coal as early as possible. And uh, 47 years means because 2070, we have to become a carbon neutral country. Of course, after 2070 also, we'll be in a position to use coal, but we have to see that how the carbon neutrality is assured. So 47 is a big time. It is about uh, two working generations uh, which are going to take place. We always say that we are at a level of uh, V3G. V3G means uh, the value addition the three generations can do. One generation, the, the persons in my age group, uh, uh, in the age group of 60 plus, the another generation is say 30, 35 years of age, and uh, the next generation which is just born or yet to be born. So these are the three generations which will have to uh, work on the car decarbonization of uh, universe and how can we reduce the CO2 uh, as a whole. I'm seeing some of the young students, they are, they are joining us today, it's very good. So you are in uh, the second generation, that is V0, if we say 60 plus, then you are in the age group of maybe 20 plus or 30. So, so you'll be next generation, which will be doing something, putting a base to decarbonize uh, the country. We in uh, Jindal, we are uh, uh, doing coal gasification in a big way. We are the the largest coal gasifier today in the country. And we are the first coal gasification unit producing steel out of, uh, uh, out of DRI uh, through coal gasification route where the reductant, the gas is, uh, that is uh, 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 syn gas, synthesis gas, where we have 58% hydrogen, 28% uh, carbon monoxide. We are now working how to enhance the hydrogen from 58% to 75%. We are working on this. And uh, this will be achieved soon, maybe I think in next one year time. We are also working how to inject syn gas, that is coal gas or synthesis gas, into blast furnaces and also uh, to uh, other applications for steel making so that we can reduce the carbon footprint in a bigger way. So this is going on. We are also working uh, as to how to utilize coal, coal to hydrogen, and uh, also coal to methanol, coal to ethanol. So this is also on the annual, and I'm, sh I'm sure in next one decade, we'll be in a position to uh, produce hydrogen from coal in a bigger way, though the process is already established in the world, so we can convert coal into hydrogen. Our aim is coal to uh, gas and then coal to liquid finally, and uh, if we do so, then India's dependence on fossil fuel, import of fossil fuel will be reduced significantly. So three ways to do it, one is above the surface, coal gasification, the other is uh, underground coal gasification, and the third, what government, government is already doing, or India is doing in s some different locations, that is coal, coal bed methane. So we will be, uh, we are today working on above the ground, hopefully in future, we'll be working on underground coal gasification, and uh, we are working with uh, different companies in the world, so that we can work on underground coal gasification also. Without damaging the environment, we can take out the hydrocarbons from the earth, and we can utilize that. If that happens, then definitely this will be in most environmental friendly manner. But till the time, above the coal gasification unit in a closed atmosphere, that is uh, a very proven technology, and uh, we will continue with this. So uh, during this discussion, uh, we will uh, listen the other speakers, and uh, I'll be moderating uh, this particular uh, session. So thank you very much. All the best.